and seeing if there is a middle ground, again, if a middle ground should even be tried, uh, even if you should be trying to find one. Because if the overall relationship is still bad, then regardless, you probably need to leave. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Stefan Speaks. Well, Stefan Labossier, a.k.a. Stefan Speaks, here to give you some dating and relationship advice, life advice, you name it, we talk about it. As always, be sure before we get into today's topic to subscribe to the channel, like this video, share it. But today, we're going to do Ask Stefan. So I'm going to be allowing you guys to send in questions so you can start preparing that for future videos. But I already have one for today. And I'm going to be answering the questions that you guys want specifically asked. So today, let me just read you the question, okay? Of course, I won't be revealing anyone's identities or anything like that. But let's just get into the question. So today's question says, the guy I'm dating is really into reality TV. So much so that he likes to follow a lot of reality TV stars on social media. Some of the girls that he chooses to follow, TV stars, and also some that aren't, make me feel uncomfortable. The lingerie, bikini posts that are constantly on his social media is something that I really don't appreciate. When sharing these feelings with him, he compared me to the other relationships in his life where the girlfriends do not care about the same thing. He told me that it felt controlling when I asked him if he would respect my feelings on this and unfollow the girls that make me feel uncomfortable. He also said he needed to think about if he would be willing to unfollow the girls or not. This made me feel unimportant because it doesn't seem like a big deal to unfollow people for the relationship and to make me feel better. Am I wrong for asking him to change these social media habits? Is this asking too much? All right. So first, let me give you my personal perspective on following the opposite sex or following uh, the opposite sex who may be posting things that make the partner uncomfortable in a relationship. I'm a believer that it's never that serious as far as, okay, if I got to unfollow someone to, to bring some peace, then do that. Like if you desire the relationship, if you, this person is important to you, if you want to bring peace um, and, and add some security to the relationship, then it should not be a problem to simply stop following or not even like certain posts on social media. So for me personally, I would have no problem uh, embracing that request. All right. And, and I do think in most cases that if you are a man or a woman, because this can happen both ways, then you should highly consider doing that. Because again, is, is liking and following really worth creating problems in your relationship. I would argue it's not worth it, so why not change it? But let's flip this for a second and consider the fact that an argument can be made that if now, it for or today it's not liking and unfollowing, tomorrow it's how dare you even look at this person walking past in the street. The next day it's you can't even watch certain TV shows because this girl too sexy or, or this man's doing too much. Essentially, what I'm saying is someone can make the argument that if there's no line drawn, all right, because granted, there is a level of creating security in the relationship, but there's also a level of being secure yourself in that relationship. And so you have to ask yourself, if you're the individual who is bothered by these pictures, why are you bothered by these pictures? All right. Now, real quick, let me say this. I do believe there's a compromise that can be made. And I'll get to that at the very end. But ultimately, let's, we have to ask ourselves, what disturbs us so much? So in this specific question, all right, for the woman who asks this, is it that you feel like he's liking and following women that doesn't look like you? And because they don't look like you, that makes you feel insecure because it's like, well, wait a minute, is this what he really likes? And, and that's a problem for you? Is, is it a problem because... He's showing other patterns of behavior that are unhealthy or showing someone who might step out of the relationship. Is it because your last boyfriend who was doing the same thing cheated on you and now you're projecting that onto this guy, even if he may be doing nothing else wrong? Because you got to ask yourself, okay, 
Is this the only issue in your relationship? If, if this man is perfect and doing everything right, loving you, supporting you, transparent communication with you, but the one thing he does that doesn't sit well with you is who he follows and liking some pictures, then an argument could be made that, okay, this is where you may have to, you know, you win some, you lose some. There's certain battles not worth fighting. Now, let me make clear, your feelings always matter. And I do not want to dismiss your feelings, and I think no one should be dismissing anyone's feelings. We have to try to understand each other. But if the overall picture is amazing, and he, he has this one thing, but he doesn't take it any further, there is no uh, social media engagement. Because that's the other thing. Where do you draw the line as far as what is appropriate or inappropriate behavior on social media? I would argue, like, if I'm in a relationship, I don't care about likes and follows, but if you DMing somebody, we got a problem. If you're flirting in the comments, we have a problem because those kinds of engagements can create an interaction that can now lead to something. Following and liking a post is less likely in most cases nowadays to lead to something because that person probably has thousands of likes, thousands of, of, of uh, follows. So that one person doesn't like ring a bell or set off an alarm or whatever. So we, we, we have to determine what is going to be considered inappropriate behavior online uh, for that couple. And, and every couple is different. But again, going back to the earlier point, if the overall relationship is great, the argument can be made, you let this pass. However, if the overall relationship is bad or you've seen other issues, then my thing is, why are we even focusing on the social media piece? Like, you're, you're taking your eye off of the real problem and fighting a battle on social media behavior that you may have a harder time making your case for, which you shouldn't even be bothered with that because the focus should be all the other stuff. Like, if he's mistreating you, who cares who he's following? It's the fact that he's mistreating you. Even if he stopped following everyone, even if he stopped liking any woman's post, if he's still mistreating you, we still have a problem. If he's still doing other things that are unhealthy in the relationship, we still have a problem. So we have to look at the overall picture and see again, is this social media thing uh, a symptom of a, a bigger problem that exists or is it an outlier? Is it really just, okay, maybe he, he really genuinely doesn't think there's anything wrong with it because he's generally not trying to take it anywhere and doing anything with it. And so in that case, that's how you can figure out where we can go with this and how we can resolve this by getting to the root of both why does it bother you and why does he feel like this is okay, all right? And, and seeing that there is a middle ground, again, if and middle ground should even be tried, uh, even if you should be trying to find one. Because if the overall relationship is still bad, then regardless, you probably need to leave. So don't get too caught up in just the social media. But again, I, I, I want to encourage both sides. I want to encourage the, the man in this situation to listen. If it really bothers the woman and makes her uncomfortable and you even from the man's perspective understand she's a good woman everything is great, this is the one thing causing, causing a problem, then it's not worth following and liking women on Instagram. If it's going to throw off a great relationship, just stop following and stop liking. And the same thing to the woman. Listen, if he's been awesome and amazing, and this is the only problem, and there is no other glaring issues in this relationship, then okay, th there can be a little bit more leeway in trying to be understanding with it. But ultimately, I would personally just not follow, just not like, I don't think it's worth it. But again, look at the overall picture. So I hope that answers your question and gives you some guidance on the matter. Again, if you have a question that you would like to have answered, please send them to uh, Stefan at StefanSpeaks.com and I'll take a look at it and see if I can do a video on it. Also, I do uh, these Q&As. That question was actually pulled from one of my previous Q&As from my membership group. For the ladies out there, if you want to change your life for the better and experience uh, a, an amazing program that's going to get you some results, help you with healing, femininity, you name, getting closer to God, hearing from God clearly, go to www.receivingmyblessings.com. There is a link below in the description and in the comment section. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. It's amazing. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.